You have put together a hell of a package, Jay, but you just got done watching defending champion Ronnie Coleman's routine. Um, what goes through your mind when you're watching that? Is that intimidating to you? Do you? I mean, what were you watching? You know, I have great respect for Ronnie, but, you know, people say this guy is unbeatable, and, you know, I don't, I don't agree with that. Everyone's beatable on a certain day, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this Olympia eventually if I don't win today. What's it like out there, Ronnie? You're the, you're the number one man in this show. It's yours to win or lose. How do you feel? Oh, I live for this. I'm having the time of my life. I'm, uh, I, I'm having a lot of fun here tonight. Now, I, I asked you this question a minute ago, but I'm going to ask you it again for all these people. Jay Cutler said you were 100% beatable. Hey, I'm hot. What do you say about that? I say Jay Cutler's smoking crack. He ain't in his right mind. Oh. Ronnie. <laughs> We have Dexter Jackson. Dexter, what do you think about the show tonight? Um, I think the show has ran awesomely. This is probably the best Mr. Olympia I've ever competed in. And um, of course, all the competitors are in great condition. And um, I just wish everybody the best of luck. Well, if we're talking about smoking things and, and who's saying what, here's a man that said that, uh, Ronnie, that he could beat you all along, and that's Gunter Sleerkamp. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Triple H. Gunter, you, you were very upset that there was a, a poster with only two guys on it, Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler. What are your feelings on this, being a two-man show, or is this guy beatable, or what? So if you go for the post, I think that stage, it would be pretty empty today, right? So there's still 19 more guys, and I hope next year they put at least everybody who is competing on, on there. So I think it's just fair, and, and just, you know, they shouldn't put something in people's mind. And, uh, you know, uh, I just think it should be fair. It's not a, a boxing match. It's a bodybuilding competition. So, and there are mostly 20 guys in there, right? Triple H. Now, yes, what? I don't, I don't want to start anything, but we got Jay Cutler here. Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler, come over here, Coleman. Come on over here, big man. There's been. We're gonna see what's what's, what's going on around here. Oh, it's a body There's been some a a accusations thrown around about some. There's a war going on around here. It's a war going on around here. That's what we got going. We got the war on the stage. Uh, war words. Ronnie's been here winning the show for the past uh, how many years, Ronnie? Six. Six years, but. This is my town, my home, my place. Well, you, your, your home just in, in, been invaded like Iraq. The U.S. invaded Iraq. I'm invading your hometown, buddy. I'm going to have to chase you what, out, brother. We know what happened. We know I'm going to have to chase you out. We know what happened to Iraq, so get ready to get your head kicked. I, I, I got to tell you, I think I just found weapon of mass destruction right here. <laughs> yeah, I brought my own weapons of mass destruction. I come to do a lot of damage. But hold on, fellas. Hold on, hold on. All that said and done, we have a new round tonight, okay? So there's a chance that, Ronnie, I know you've been holding it down for a while, but tonight there's a chance that you could fall. Are we, Tell still, us. Are we still bodybuilding, though? If we, if we still bodybuilding, a new round or what, it don't make no difference to me. Bring it on. Let's do it. Dex, what you, what you think, Dex? You hear the big man talking? Do you feel as though you can bring him down? Do you have a chance? As I said before, he's won six times. You ain't making seven tonight. <laughs> Jay, one last time, challenge round. Your secret weapon? I just want to get this show on the road, man. Let's do it. Let's stop talking, Joe. Take it away. Let's go back out to the crowd.